I think that's like winning in life. I don't know, is anyone else like this? My hair is a frizzy disaster. We're doing like self-guided tours. This one is two bedroom. <laughs> 100% <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, make sure you are subscribed and give this video a like. <laughs> and yeah, let's get into the video. I wanted to show you guys some new products that I've been trying out. First thing, I use like a different shampoo because obviously we're social distancing and we can't get our hair done or anything like that so I wanted to my hair was looking really dull I realized that I had some like sample shampoos that I put aside and I tried this DP hue color fresh shampoo and color fresh conditioner and I really like it I feel like my color kind of brightened up a little bit um, my hair was looking kind of dull. I can't wait to get it done and toned and just fresh. Um, so I tried this and I really like it. Um, I think it made my hair look pretty good. So I hate buying expensive shampoos. I just, I hate buying them. Like the only expensive shampoo that I really do buy is purple shampoo to keep my blonde from looking yellow so I hate liking expensive shampoos because I can't always justify buying expensive shampoos so I'm gonna look into this product I've heard about this product um, but I just don't know how expensive it is I'm gonna throw that out now <laughs> I was putting it aside so I could show you guys but um I need I just purchased a clarifying shampoo on Amazon because I'm not gonna go to the store just to like pick up shampoo so I bought off Amazon because it's really good to use a clarifying shampoo when you are using dry shampoo or like oils in your hair or on your scalp when you use dry shampoo or hair mask the residue from it can build up on your scalp not in like a dandruff sort of way but like you can't see it, but your hairdresser can see it. So that it's really important to get that off of your scalp. So clarifying shampoos are really good to use to get all that residue off. But um, one thing is, is when all that like dry shampoo and product gets built up on your scalp, it prevents the hair follicles from growing because it's just like they're clogged with all this dry shampoo and gunk and product and whatnot. So it's really good to use a clarifying shampoo. Um, when it arrives, I'll show you guys the one that I got. Um, you can get it from Publix, it's cheap. But yeah, I got a bunch of skincare products. I got five new oils that I wanted to show you guys. They're from The Ordinary and we're on the road of inexpensive. They are under $10 per oil droplet. So I'll show you. So I got five of them. I got, so I've heard really good things about this AHA BHA peel. So you use it like one to two times a week. I used it and I kid you not, my skin was so soft and resurfaced and nice after I used it. So I can't wait to use it again. I've only used it once, um, but these are the products that I use uh, probably on a daily basis. I got hyaluronic acid. And I got this, I really don't know how to pronounce this, but you put it on your forehead and like where you would get crow's feet and apparently it helps with that. I got this caffeine solution for underneath my eyes, um, like around my eyes 
and apparently it helps like plump up and help with under eye bags. I just got back into using retinol. I used to use it before I went on Accutane, but since stopping Accutane in, was it September or October? Since stopping Accutane, I haven't used any type of retinol because I wanted to give my skin a little bit of time to adjust to how it's gonna be after Accutane. So I finally started retinol again. And those are like the products that I got. I also started putting castor oil on my eyebrows and eyelashes. Granted, I do have long eyelashes already, but I mean, if castor oil helps with growth or if it helps at all, might as well just use it. I wanna fill in my eyebrows a little bit better than how they are. They're kind of sparse and really thin, but I feel like they're kind of coming in. I mean, it's only been a week that I've been using it and I use it morning and night because I don't wear any makeup to work because I'm not really talking to anyone or no one's really seeing me. So I'm taking really full advantage of this whole coronavirus thing with letting my skin breathe and letting my hair kind of breathe a little bit. I'm trying to like tone it back on the dry shampoo during the week as well. I did want to show you guys those products. I will keep you updated, but so far I really do like the products. And if they're under $10 and I can get five oils or five different products for 40 bucks, I mean, I think that's like winning in life. So I'll definitely keep you guys updated on how I like the products and how they are working. I also started regularly um, microneedling my skin. So I'm going to do that tonight. I can make a full video on how I microneedle my face and my skincare routine because I've never done like a full skincare routine in depth and I did get a bunch of new products. So I do want to test them out a little bit before I make a video on it just so I can obviously tell you guys like a real um, review of how I feel about these products. So I do want to test them out. I don't want to just give it a week and like preach oh, I love these products because I don't think a week is enough time so give this video a thumbs up if you do want to see or comment down below if you do want to see um, a skincare routine the problem is with my nighttime skincare routine is I do so many different things like every other day like I'm not microneedling my face every day like I'm not using a peel pad every day like I'm not using that AHA BHA acid solution every single night so it like i rotate between things every other night so it would just be hard to like it would be really in depth and i feel like it would take a lot to explain i don't know let me know if you guys do want to see that though because i've never done that before on my channel and i want to show you guys what i use and if i like certain products I want to share them with you. So a few vlogs ago, I said that I ordered stuff off of Talentless and these are one of the sweats that I ordered. I also got them in the steel gray color, but these are um, the bone color and they're just, I think they're just like the premium, I think they're called premium sweats. Women's, I got them in women's. Um, I ordered a medium originally and they were huge. I kid you not, huge. And then I got a small and I feel like the difference between the small and the medium is like two sizes because I wish there was a size in between medium and small because I feel like the small is almost too small. Like I wanted them to be a little bit bigger and baggier, but I mean, it's fine. I'm just really glad that I didn't get the extra small because I should have tried on the medium and like showed you guys how big the medium was but um I was talking to my sister and I showed her the mediums on and then I just showed her yesterday when these came in the small and what the small looked like and there is such a big difference between sizing I don't know um the gray color is still on its way because it wasn't in stock but I checked last night and it was in stock, so in a small. So I think they just randomly restocked stuff. So if you are interested, I think they still have these in a small and up. They don't have extra small, but if you like baggier fits, I wouldn't get an extra small, but 
that's just my opinion they're also like a thicker material i talked about that as well in that other vlog but yeah i did want to show you guys what they looked like on because i did talk about it and i also got um some basic tops i don't even know if i showed them but this is from talentless um the material is good i cut it more they're they come cropped but i cropped it more and then i also got it in the same color as these sweats so i got this color in sweatpants and then these this is the color that i'm wearing and i cropped it more as well because i got these in a medium and they were still like they're loose in the arms which is what i wanted but they were still like too long <laughs> for my liking so i cut them more since it's raining a little bit cold outside i threw on the matching top just over my like little tank top thing because the rain makes me cold yeah so i'm like in a matching set which i never do i actually never match my sets to be honest like i never buy like the matching top to sweatpants i don't know sometimes it's just like weird when i'm wearing like the whole same outfit but i guess because it's cropped and there's like a split between the two i don't feel that weird about it I don't know. Does anyone else like this and is weird about matching sets? But I'm gonna go, I think I'm gonna grab Chick-fil-A and head to Christian's house. My hair is a frizzy disaster. We just finished Chick-fil-A. We're doing like self-guided tours at an apartment complex so this is the only one this is one of the options that we're looking at and they just gave us like the code and the address this one is two bedroom so here's like the extra bedroom closet um this room's small bathroom living room it's the balcony view Walking. and that would be the gym <laughs> not bad yeah I like it it's a master This is a one bedroom. The room is, this is really small. And the closet is small. Where, how do you even fit a bed in here? And the clock, oh my. I don't like how you can hear everything. This is like an extra office that's open to the balcony. Overlooking the street is cute and nice. Here. So I like the balcony and this is really big. You could fit a big couch in here. I just feel like it's, they're not optimizing their space correctly. They're not wasting space everywhere. Yeah. That should go all the way down. That, that should at least be closed off this room is small like i don't know a king size bed wouldn't fit in here yeah i don't know Either. i'm trying to update my vlog i thought i would update you guys on the apartment situation because we like toured five or technically because one of them they gave us the wrong apartment i guess and someone was actually living there so that was messed up and then two of them basically we only liked one of them because the second one we toured i took a video of it just the room was too small where we couldn't fit a king bed and that's what we want we want to get a king bed and there was like a little wall cut out so at like the top of the wall it was cut out so that you could he basically hear everything from the other room so the first one that we saw was basically like our favorite one but we still want to tour 
another place. <laughs> like the last three that we looked at, well, okay, the last two that we looked at were outdated and I just didn't like any of the, like the kitchen, I didn't like the rooms, I didn't like any of that. The other one was just, it just didn't make sense. So basically the first one was the best one, which I included a clip of that in the vlog. So, but hopefully the other place does self-guided tour soon because... Because um, it's my favorite place and I want to move in there and Christian thinks I'm a psycho. I keep looking at the videos. I just want to tour the place and actually look at them. We're currently waiting at P.F. Chang's and there's so many cars waiting too. There's a ton of cars over there and right there. Oh, it's dark. We just got a food. Now we're waiting on her to bring us back our car. I just can't believe how many people are waiting for their food, but I guess like nothing's really open. This is the one restaurant that's kind of open besides like fast food. At least in this area that I know of. Because there's a Brio right over there and they're not even open for to go orders at all. So. I feel like this is more food than normal. Yep, no, it's, yeah, 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 they made more, it's like more now. Yeah. You are going to have a pleasant experience. Why are you hiding it? We don't want me to know. Did we split this last one? What does it say? Tell me. No. Will you show the vlog? No, because that's like showing you. I only know when I edit it. I'm mm. never showing you mine. Why? <laughs> you need that. It says good news. <laughs> You're a psycho. <laughs> that's ridiculous. <laughs> what does it say? Why don't you want to tell me? Because it's funny. 